हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू राम फार्मा अकेडमी टू लर्न वेरियस फार्मा टॉपिक्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल राम फार्मा अकेडमी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन हेलो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू फाइंड माय वीडियोस यूजफुल फॉर यू देन प्लीज शेयर देम विथ योर फ्रेंड्स जूनियर्स टू सपोर्ट आवर चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल you are going to learn about structure activity relationship of acetylcholine first draw the structure of acetylcholine and then divide it into the three parts first part is trimethyl ammonium ion which is also known as onium group second part is ethylene bridge and the last one is acetyl oxy group ethylene bridge consists of two carbons carbon adjacent to the ammonium group is known as alpha carbon and the next carbon is beta carbon so remember these parts one by one we will discuss sar of all the parts let's start with this trimethyl ammonium ion or the onium group first sar point is for optimum activity amine group must be quaternary that means nitrogen must carry positive charge for the cholinergic activity for example methacholine bethanecol carbacol and the muscarine we can check this point from the structures of these important drugs as in the case of acetylcholine all these important molecules also contains quaternary ammonium group that means quaternary ammonium group is essential for the cholinergic activity the second sar point is primary secondary and tertiary amines are less active than the quaternary amines and their cholinergic activity is in the following order quaternary amines have more cholinergic activity than tertiary amines which has more cholinergic activity than the secondary amines and the least activity is for the primary amines and the third point is substitution of one of the three methyl groups with higher alkyl groups like ethyl or propyl makes the molecule less active than the acetylcholine that means as the length of alkyl group on the nitrogen increases it decreases the cholinergic activity as shown with the structures fourth point is substitution of all the three methyl groups with higher alkyl groups like ethyl or propyl makes the molecule antagonist at cholinergic receptors as all of you know acetylcholine is agonist at cholinergic receptors but if you replace all the methyl groups with ethyl or propyl or higher alkyl groups these molecules act as antagonist at the cholinergic receptors fifth point is the substitution of nitrogen by phosphorus sulfur arsenic or antimony atom decreases the cholinergic activity that means nitrogen is essential for the activity then the second part of the acetylcholine molecule is ethylene bridge having the alpha and beta carbons first point is chain length decreases or increases from ethylene to methylene or the propylene respectively decreases the cholinergic activity that means the distance between the nitrogen and the ester oxygen must be two carbon length as shown with the structure as all of you know cholinergic system have two important receptors nicotinic and muscarinic receptors and the acetylcholine is non selective cholinergic agonist that means acetylcholine has nicotinic as well as muscarinic actions but the introduction of methyl group at alpha position forms the acetyl alpha methylcholine which has more selectivity towards the nicotinic receptor than muscarinic receptor which is shown in the second structure and with the introduction of methyl group at beta position it forms acetyl beta methylcholine that is methacholine which has more selectivity towards the muscarinic receptor than the nicotinic as shown in the third structure but the introduction of alkyl groups other than methyl at alpha or beta position decreases the cholinergic activity that means 
as the length of alkyl group at alpha or beta position increases it decreases the cholinergic activity and the maximum activity is for methyl group now the last part of the acetylcholine molecule is acetyl oxy group first point is conversion of acetyl oxy into the carbamic acid ester increases cholinergic activity where methyl group is replaced with the amino group this can be explained with the structure of cholinergic drugs acetylcholine is made up of acetic acid ester whereas carbacol and bethanecol are made up of carbamic acid ester and the carbacol and bethanecol are more potent than the acetylcholine on the cholinergic receptors that means carbamic acids are more potent than the acidic acid esters at the cholinergic receptors and the second point is replacement of acyl group with aromatic or higher molecular weight esters makes the molecule antagonist at cholinergic receptors as shown in the following structures okay friends this is the end of this tutorial if you want to learn other points related to acetylcholine links are given in the description and if you want to learn sar of other molecules then also the links are given in the description okay friends friends thanks for watching the video to help me please like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will make more and more videos for you thank you goodbye